Hello my friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I was about to do a pick a card reading and I was sitting down to do it. I had all the oracle cards picked out and I felt called to come do a soul tribe reading. Um, so I'm just gonna go with it. There's a reason. I just, I felt, I felt I couldn't wait. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. I love you. <laughs> Thank you for all your beautiful comments. Have you been following your wisps? <laughs> I've been following mine. <laughs> so really cool. I got this deck from Etsy. It's called the Wild, Ch Wild Child Tarot. <laughs> and it came today. <clears throat> I've already shuffled it. And the first card I cut open to was the Four of Wands. <laughs> and when I ended shuffling, I had Nine of Cups on the bottom. And Nine of Pentacles, interesting. 9-9. Nine, nine. Very interesting. Evolution of self. Anyway, um, this morning <laughs> I was looking at the clouds and I saw a perfect triangle, which I thought was really cool. And then I got a notification that this deck was delivered and the deck came. <laughs> I'm just sharing you my wisps. I'm sharing my wisps with you. <laughs> um, this deck came and... I opened it up and there was this in it. It's a certificate of authenticity. And because there's only so many decks printed because it's an independent person, whatever. Anyway, um, and I thought this is the like 1714th deck. And I thought, I'm gonna look up what that means. And I looked it up and the message was that I've been listening to my intuition and listening to my intuition over my ego and I am on the right path. And I just thought that is so cool. So as I was contemplating about that and thinking about that, my partner picked it up for me at the mailbox and he said, so I was at the mailbox and this older woman said, hey, do you want to see something really cool? And he was like, okay, he was a little apprehensive. And she had, in the trunk of her car, she had a huge piece of rock. And on it was all this pink quartz. And in the middle, there was two quartz points growing together. And my partner is not into spirituality. <laughs> he supports me. <laughs> but he is not into spirituality. <laughs> and that's fine. We live our separate lives. <laughs> But I was like, did you take a picture of it? <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, this woman's husband found it on a beach recently. So they were just coming back from having it assessed by whoever assessed, assesses things like that. Forgive me, I don't know the terminology. 300 million years old. 300 million years old. And they found it on a beach and the two quartz points growing together in the middle of the pink. Like, I just, I wish I had seen it. I can see it in my head. Like, I can imagine exactly what it looks like. But how amazing is that? And yesterday, I think it was in the Soul Tribe reading, I was talking about quartz. Like, I was, I was talking about quartz. And then my partner just happens to see this giant quartz anyway. Wisps, follow your wisps. <laughs> your wisps, blah, blah, blah. your wisps get better. Your wisps start to, like sometimes when you start following them, synchronicities I'm talking about, if nobody knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, once you start to follow them, they start to align. So you start to experience like little synchronicities at the same time, even more so confirming the magic. Anyway, <laughs> I love it. So I do want to use this deck with you guys first. That's, I guess that's why I'm here because I wanted to share this deck with you. But before we begin, I wanted to look at these number cards again. We had them, or I had them in a reading yesterday. <clears throat> it's funny how I assume you guys just watch everything. <laughs> we had them yesterday. Well, we're a little family, you know, everyone's welcome. Oh, right. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> so, 
I wanted to look at this because this came out, this is on the bottom of the deck from a reading I did yesterday. And I didn't get to, I didn't get to look at this one in the book. So I thought we could look at it together. <laughs> hmm. Where do I find this magical infinity symbol? If it's not a number. I love this book. I'm going to learn so much about, like this book has so many numbers in it. I'm so excited. And it's from Donna on the other side of Canada. Hello. <laughs> um, the angel number oracle. I'm super excited about it. All right. So this morning, I'm just going to share with you. I'm just going to share with you the synchronicities that I'm experiencing. Okay. I ordered decks. For, look, 444. Four, four, that's been coming out. Anyway, I, or, <laughs> I ordered decks by her, the Hermit Tarot. Um, her message ones. And then I ordered two decks from White Rose Guidance, both channels that I watch. Um, anyway, this morning I got an email that they're being delivered tomorrow. And I was like, that's so exciting. And it said there's customs due. And it was 5151. And I was like, I'm going to remember that. I'm going to remember to look that up later. And I forgot. And when I, I just noticed this is right before the infinity card, 5151. So that's how you follow your wisps and your, the synchronicities. And it becomes like super magical. You're on the right path. Keep your chin up and stick with that positive way of thinking. Your goals are within reach. However, there may be quite a few obstacles on the way. Staying optimistic and flexible with your options is the answer. I'm ready for those obstacles. <laughs> I've got my bull horns on. <laughs> on bull horns on bull bulls bull horns on. <laughs> my ears are ringing. <laughs> Channeling positivity toward a desired goal, noticing possibilities in unexpected places, big changes, and future opportunities, breaking free from limiting beliefs. Yes! <laughs> I take action and trust my instincts. And what did 1714 say? This is a sign that you've been trusting your intuition and you're on the right path. Do you see how it all connects? Like a triangle, like the cloud that I saw. Do you see? <laughs> I'm serious. That's magic. I just threw that book away without even reading that. Good morning. <laughs> Somebody said I'm like the first cup of coffee in the morning. And I was like, that's amazing. I love coffee. <laughs> All right, my friends. 3003. That's strange. That's really strange. Three ones and zeros were coming up yesterday. I was I was hearing that three ten thirty thirty, and then the three hundred million year piece of quartz, three hundred million year old whatever piece of quartz. You're holding the key. Limitless doors are about to open. Bask in the infinite potential that is shining down upon you. Balance is being restored. Consciousness opened. Inspiration peaked. I'm so excited for you all. Get ready for something truly transcendent. In the upright, an intense cosmic shift may be upon you. A sense of calm, of everything clicking into place. The continuation of life and energy. A deep connection to the spiritual world. You guys, beautiful. And this is a reading for all of us. So let's go. <laughs> see what you guys need to hear today we're gonna have a look 666 reflect what are you reflecting on I can share with you what I'm reflecting on right now I'm reflecting on how I'm taking on other people's negativity upon myself I've been really reflecting on it the past couple days um really really reflecting on it it's interesting I've kind of been I talked about it the other day like using people kind of as a mirror um what are they doing that's awakening that triggered feeling in you? I've been doing a lot of reflecting. Maybe you have too. Oh, the garbage man just drove by. 
999, maybe you've been releasing things that no longer serve you, releasing control of situations, releasing that ego that tells you that you're crazy or that you're delusional or that it's silly to believe in wisps. <laughs> 2424, four, unconditional love. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, yesterday one of my videos was my birthday time, which I thought was really cool. 2255, five, self love, learning how to love yourself. That's where that could be the spiritual lesson you're working on right now. 2255. Five. Maybe in order to move forward, you need to work on embodying this self-love. That's what I mean. When you love, this, this is what I'm reflecting on. When you truly love yourself and someone projects onto you or reacts to you in a certain way, when you truly love yourself, you can, you can see that it's not about you. It's about them. Um... Anyway, I feel like I've been getting daily tests on this and reflecting on it. So maybe you're experiencing something as well. Once you become aware of those things, like the synchronicities and the tests, they're easier to see and you, you start experiencing more of them. 510 could be symbolic May 10th. We have one, three, two, one awareness. So let's look at that. Maybe you're working on your, your own awareness, things like that. Maybe you're becoming increasingly aware of other people's, you know, lower vibrations and wounds. One, three, two, one. Take a deep breath and reassess. There is no need to rush right now. Only a need to turn inward and reflect. Are there things you should change to better align with your goals? Are you doing things that actually allow you to utilize your abilities? Try to find focus and ignore the distractions. Stick to your goals. Find creative solutions to reach them. And we have reflection and reevaluation, finding and main maintaining focus, goal oriented personal skill development. And your affirmation is it is okay to pause and reflect. So you could be someone who's struggling to find your own life purpose or find meaning in all of this or release that ego. Um, you know, you could be reevaluating situations, people, circumstances, your own wounding, your way of thinking in your own life. <clears throat> so let's see. We have, listen, <laughs> we have 3003 and 2020 bonds and inspiration. So we're going to talk about both of these things. Threes are symbolic of community. So maybe this is because you're being inspired by this community. I'm blown away by, you know, how much comfort we all find here with each other. And I just want to tell you that's a, like, that goes both ways for me. Um, we also have 2020 here and we see this <clears throat> heart that's out of focus. It's blue throat chakra. I am having a problem with my throat right now. Um, during this reading, I mean, 2020, you know, you think of what's the saying? Hindsight is 2020. Um, the fact that we have this blurred heart makes me feel like maybe awakenings had to be had before this could come into focus. Um, but we're going to look at the energy here. <clears throat> 3, 10, 30, 30. <laughs> 3, oh, oh, 3. Your creative levels are positively surging. So you could be feeling the vibration of, you know, our little community here. You could be 
just like I am. Um, and it could be helping you tap into your own creative ability, your creative potential, that little soul spark within you, that little inner child within you that wants to get out and laugh and do fun things and be creative and find your people. <laughs> Your focus right now needs to be on where and how you express all that abundant, inspired energy. If you don't have an outlet for artistic expression already, seek one that suits your style. You have a beautiful, unique mind. Share it with the world. Abundance of creative energy, feeling supported in your ventures, speaking your truth, actualizing your dream. And your affirmation, I am creating my dream life. So I am going to read the reversal of this card because I think it's important that we understand how energy works. Um, that's why I kind of describe different energies. Um, because you could be experiencing the reversal of this or this person that you're attached to here, whoever it is, you know, new, old, this soul connection that's here, um, it could be that they are in an energy fear of holding back or their ego getting in the way. Um, anyway, fear of expression holding you back. <clears throat> so you could be someone that wants to, you know, put yourself on social media to try and find your soul family. Um, that's what I went through years ago. And I didn't even, I tell you guys, like I was, I was like, what am I doing? Like, why am I making a TikTok? And then once I started to find friends, my creative inspiration grew and grew and grew and then snowballed into an awakening, <laughs> which is fine. <laughs> and maybe you have a fear of putting yourself out there, you know, but I'm living proof that your soul family will catch you. We're here to catch you. Um, and I'm happy to have you here. Hard times may be coming, be prepared. So we do see a shift coming. Remember, that's the reversal. It didn't come out in the reverse. But there is a shift coming towards you. And it could be that in the past, you had a fear of holding yourself back. You had a fear of, you know, maybe believing in this magic, believing in the wisps. Ego getting in the way, past struggles coming back up. So you could have been dealing with someone who kept, you kept experiencing struggles with and kept, you know, back and forth into your energy. I want to read that 2020. Because it reminds me that 20, hindsight is 2020. <clears throat> it just reminds me of how I talk about how when you're in a connection where you're being triggered and there's childhood wounds being ripped open without anybody realizing what's happening you know it's like you're ripping off each other's band-aids and then you're like battling against each other um that's what it's like um i always say in the middle of that it's so hard to see th things clearly everything th seems so cloudy and confusing and you know there's towers and once you're out of that energy and your energy starts to balance temperance, you start to settle down again. Um, you can see things so clearly looking back. Anyway, I just wanted to give my intuitive message about that card <laughs> before I read it. There's garbage trucks going up and down my road. That could be symbolic. <laughs> Maybe you're clearing out the trash. Maybe you're decluttering your home, you know? There's that reflect again. Things are looking up. You've been focused on building a strong foundation and it shows. You will be reaping all the, all the wonderful rewards you absolutely deserve. Now remember, I was talking, I was just talking about tower moments, right? And how when you separate, you're both meant to be working on your own foundations so that when you come back together, those tower moments don't happen. Um, so I think that's interesting because this is about a strong foundation. Um, your connections and partnerships are leveling up, resulting in better productivity and deeper emotional connections. These bonds may also be felt on a spiritual level. Celebrate your achievements. 
in the upright, forging stronger bonds. Yay, Soul Tribe. <laughs> Productivity and inspiration. Yes, inspiration. <laughs> Feeling in tune with the higher power. Following your wisps. Positive connections. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's on page 111. Remember yesterday? Was it yesterday with the quartz? With the quartz and the 111. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Positive connections. Us. <laughs> I always make exciting and meaningful connections. That is your affirmation. Beautiful. Beautiful. So in the past... You could have experienced this with uh, with soulmates, with your this person, yourself, miscommunication, crossed wires, misinformation, illusions, and fakes, lack of community, isolation, and destruction. I have to say, when you are in a connection and you are alone. That can be hard on the connection. Like if you're completely isolated and alone and your person isn't, it makes it extremely hard because even though you have that person, without that person, you still feel alone. So I think it's a, an amazing thing that, you know, you're here and we're building these connections um, because that will help you throughout life, not feel so alone, you know? Um, I think of you guys when I'm upset. I, th I think I'm not alone, you know? I have a whole community behind me and I hope that you know that you have me in those moments. Anyway, let's, that one wanted to come out. <laughs> let's go. For anyone who was watching the reading I did yesterday and I was hearing love of a lifetime, love of a lifetime, love of a lifetime, I couldn't quite hear what I was channeling. Like I couldn't quite pick it up. Um, and somebody in my comment section told me what I was thinking or what I was channeling. And you were right. It was the scene in It's a Wonderful Life when Mary and George are on the stairs, on the phone, and she's saying... It's the chance of a lifetime, chance of a lifetime. And it just reminded me that scene between them, you know, she wants commitment and she wants love. And, you know, she was, you know, over giving to him, of course, with the lasso the moon thing and the music and trying to be sweet. And he came in with his guard up all like, all, I don't know, maybe King of Wands, like really focused on what he wanted. And you could see like he was pushing it away and he grabbed her and he said, I want to do what I want to do. I don't like, I want to see the world. <laughs> anyway, I have no idea why I'm bringing that up, but <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I love that movie. It's like one of my favorite movies. It always has been. Um, Zuzu's petals. Fix it. Paste it, daddy. <laughs> what else do you need to hear, my friend? Potential. One, two, three, four. Fly, my little butterflies. <laughs> it's one, one, four, one here. <laughs> Is one 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 probably not? It's probably not in here. One four four one. No, it's not. But that would be cool. <laughs> I just heard. Um, <laughs> I just heard dazed and confused. <laughs> that it'd be cooler if you did, man. <laughs> it'd be cooler if it was. Moving forward, momentum, keeping faith in your abilities, positive change. Good things are coming. <laughs> Yes, changes for the better are hurtling your way. This is a powerful number for progress filled with forward momentum. Remember to keep your eyes on the prize and drop an any blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and drop any unnecessary burdens. <laughs> Shed the old and step into the new. Yes. <laughs> the this is you coming out of your cocoon. Now remember when you come out of your cocoon, I watched a butterfly be born, <laughs> be rebirthed on my garage door once. 
remember when you're reborn it feels messy the the butterfly kind of stays with the cocoon and there's like there's goo that seeps out and it waits because think of that caterpillar holding onto that garage wall thinking I've never flown before in my life you know think of the fool taking a leap of faith the butterfly flying um I just saw ducks leaping out of a hole I don't know if any of you watch planet earth but there's this episode about the ducks how they have to like leap out of the it's some kind of duck that the mother nests high up and then the birds have to leap the fool anyway <laughs> I'm getting carried away in my own <laughs> my own channeling thoughts I don't know where I was going with that but anyway the butterfly takes a while before it flies away from that cocoon before it flies away from its former self and leaves the shell of the caterpillar behind um, keep putting in that hard work. Your angels are noticing all that you're doing and gently nudging you towards the right path. Yes, they're like, eh. nope, not that way. This way. Oh, no, not that way. <laughs> it's on page 108, which equals nine, evolution of self. Magic. Magic. All right, let's see what else wants to come up for you, my friend my friend <laughs> bravery 717 717 could be symbolic to you what does that equal that equals 15 facing your fear bravery oh wally's sitting across from nope he left he was sleeping there while he was here, now he's gone. <laughs> Have you... Mm -hmm. My friends. My loves. I'm going to call you my loves. Soul tribe. Bravery. Have you been questioning whether you're heading in the right direction? If you're following your intuition and your wisps, just saying me from me, your wisps, the universe answer the universe's answer to that is a very big yes you will never be sent something you don't have the capacity to handle those challenges you never know until you get to the other side exactly what they were guiding you towards crossing the bridge i'm coming home face down your fears with trust in your heart yes <laughs> and it's on page 84 and 8 is strength Four is emperor energy. Know your worth. Know your power. Have confidence in yourself. You're on the right path. Especially if you've been doing things like, you know, looking for shapes in the sky and things that sound crazy to anybody else. <laughs> You're on the right path. It's everybody else that's lost, okay? It's everybody else that's lost. <laughs> All right, I wanted to get... This is one of my favorite decks. It's called the Animal Apothecary. It's one of my favorite decks. Some of the messages move me to tears. So I wanted to get two messages for you today from this deck to put on either side here. We have Master Manifester. Beautiful, Magician Energy. We have No Expectations. Whoops. These are really stiff cards. Magnetism through gratitude. All right. We have self 11. So we're going to talk about this. Look at the little piggy. I love pigs. I used to have... A very special stuffed pig. I do not have it anymore and it makes me sad. <laughs> I did look for it on eBay. All right, so we have 11. Which 
is right after Master Manifestor, which we saw on page 22, which we also saw card 22. Self-worth, love, value, respect. Nines! What did we say? Nines, the evolution of self. Pig has big medicine to share with you. This medicine is so grand that it is, it is the key to living a fulfilling life and aids in accomplishing your potential. Pig's message is simple and direct. Know your worth. Emperor energy, know your worth. Not only does Pig know his worth, but cultures across the world have proclaimed value for thousands of years as both a creature to be... Not only does... Sorry, I missed a word. Not only does Pig know his worth, but cultures across the world have proclaimed his value for thousands of years as both a creature to be revered and a source of nourishment. Think of a piggy bank with money inside of it. The more money inside, the more value it carries. The piggy bank reflects the idea that our true worth comes from within. When we only use others' validations to inform us of our value, it always leads to suffering. Yes! Yes, knowing your worth, knowing yourself, self-love. And then you can see when other people are, you know, taking their insecurities out on you. Pig's Medicine teaches us about inner talk. Do you walk around doing your daily tasks with a voice in your head that belittles you, tells you that you are not good enough and makes you feel unworthy? And for some of us, we were raised with those voices in our head, okay? And they just got louder. That's that ego. And, you know, it makes me happy to know that some of you are now walking around listening to me, <laughs> telling you how great you are, because you are. Screw that little ego monster. <laughs> he can choke on his cookie. <laughs> little piggy! Oh my gosh! Feed your little piggy instead! <laughs> Now is the time to proactively train and direct the voice in your head to share messages that are uplifting, loving, and kind about yourself. And this is what I talk about with the affirmations, you guys. They work. Get an affirmation app and set it to send you affirmations every, like, hour. I do that. And for a while it felt silly, but I would, I would look at my phone and take them as messages from my higher self. Like, oh, my higher self is sending me a message. And what started to happen is this app started to send me the affirmations on really important numbers. So I had it set to send one every hour. And for a while, it was like the same time every day. But now it comes in on angel numbers. They come in on at like 3.33 p.m., or on my birthday time, or on a number that's symbolic to my spiritual journey. Um, I can't share that with anyone without sounding like a crazy person, but I can share it with you guys. Like when I tell people that I know that, they're like, okay, Kelly, okay. <laughs> sure they do. <laughs> sure, the app on your phone is magical. <laughs> it is. All right. This will take a lot of work and will most likely feel like you're lying to yourself if you have a habit of negative self-talk. The key is to making it honest. The key to making it honest and impactful is not to lie to yourself and say I am gorgeous when everything in you feels ugly. Instead, say to you, say you, blah, blah, blah. instead, <laughs> you say to the part that feels ugly, I love you, I feel this pain with you. And one day I will get us to the point where we feel our beauty. But for now, I am here for you. Oh my gosh, I love that. I love that. It reminds me of those inner or inner child meditations where you go back and talk to your inner child. Pig's Medicine asks you to accept that you will always struggle with some form of insecurity because you are human. Uh-huh. True self-worth isn't raging confidence. It is allowing yourself to be insecure and being there for yourself while you feel the pain of not feeling good enough. This act is the power that creates self-worth. Be your own piggy. I love it. Those remind me of those love hearts you get at Valentine's Day. I don't know if that's symbolic to everyone. Anyone? Oh my gosh. I've realized through channeling 
that when I hear the songs or when I see the movie or I quote someone or I accidentally say something, it's become very clear to me in my comment section that it's happening for a reason, which I think is really cool. So like I said, those love hearts you get at Valentine's Day could be symbolic. There could be a memory with them for you or a pig. Um, I don't know why I'm thinking of babe. That'll do, pig. That'll do. We have a track through glow. 18. Firefly. So you could be attracting things in because of the energy you're in right now. Notice how plain and unassuming lightning bug is in the light of the sun, yet in the darkness, he becomes his most magnificent, brilliant self. It is his glow that we all yearn to experience. His glow is magnetic and attracts. His inner light is what lights us up, lights up other lightning bugs and connects him to what he desires. In receiving lightning bugs medicine, you are being challenged to glow up and attract. Lightning bug uses his glow for many reasons. But one main reason is to connect with other lightning bugs and to attract his mate. Interesting, we had that 2020. 2020, the two of you, awakenings I'm seeing. You attracting, you attracting, this is interesting, you attracting in a new love or a soulmate if you're, you know, not on the counterpart journey. Or maybe you're attracting your counterpart. Um, when I, this talks about, you know, putting yourself out so, there so that you can attract it in. Um, very interesting. And a lot of myself included, like my counterpart came into my life in my comment section on that TikTok that my higher self guided me to make. Um, interesting. Where was I? Attracting a mate. So whether you are in the stages of attracting your beloved or just trying to level up in the world, lightning bugs, blah, blah, <laughs> lightning bugs medicine teaches us that we brighten our glow by enhancing others' glows. Our inherent being doesn't just desire but needs to be loved and heard by others. This card challenges, challenges us to enhance our relationship with others, and in doing so, we live a more fulfilling version of ourselves. And remember, this card talked about, we talked about finding your community, finding others like you so that, you know, you don't feel alone. And when you have, when you're surrounded by that light and that acceptance, that's when you attract in. When we are seen, heard, and respected by others, we not only feel amazing, but we glow more intensely. How do we improve our relationship with others? Research has shown us that when we focus on the positive qualities of others, we begin to experience their positive qualities constantly. This medicine asks you to start a daily journal practice by writing down the aspects you love and admire in others. You will not only begin to see their glowing qualities, you will not only begin to see glowing qualities in others in abundance, but their glow will enhance your glow. Practice this for at least a week and watch yourself and the people you wrote about glow up. And I believe this because you guys help me. You guys are constantly telling me how much you love me. And then I, I love you right back. <laughs> I do. I love you fiercely. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> I'm serious, you guys. Like, you're the first people I talk to in the morning. <laughs> you're the last people I talk to at night. <laughs> I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see what's coming in. So like I said, when I shuffled, we have nine of cups on the bottom here. So let's have a shuffle. Explore my new deck with me. So exciting. Six of Earth. Learning how to give and receive, learning your worth, balance, reciprocal energy, 2020, you're in someone vibing on your level. We 
We have the Ten of Earth. <laughs> Stability. Beautiful. Lots of Earth energy. That's beautiful. Long-term stability. I don't even know what I'm asking. Do you know what's funny? You know how my cards have been doing that funny thing where they flick out and there's like a message? I was shuffling these in my kitchen. Shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. And I stopped shuffling and I went to do it one more time and my finger flipped off the top card. And it was, it was some scan, it was like a scan card or something. Like, it was this. And I had shuffled that deck so hard. Um, seriously, it was like my higher self was like, you don't want that in there when you do your reading. How embarrassing. <laughs> anyway, the Wisps. Page of Cups. Following your intuition. Page of Cups can also symbolize... Um, can symbolize an apology coming in or an offer of love coming in. And we have the narwhals, which came out in a reading. Was it yesterday or the day before? I can't even remember anymore. It was that ocean deck, the narwhals. I'll do one more shuffle. The moon, feminine energy, the moon, divine feminine energy. Doesn't matter your gender. Listening to your intuition, not listening to that fear. Looking at your shadows, reflecting. Oh my gosh, I started the reading with reflection. Like I said, divine feminine energy. We have the Knight of Cups now. So there is someone in your energy. <laughs> Page of Cups. Knight of Cups, let me in. For some of you, maybe they're already in your energy. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. We have the Eight of Air, Eight of Swords. So that shows someone you're in separation with, someone who perhaps you want to rekindle things with, or perhaps, you know, you're wondering where your soulmate is. We do have the Knight of Swords here. So we have someone, like I said, I felt someone... I even made the motion, even though cups don't usually like come in forcefully. It's the swords that come in forcefully. So it's like there's someone in your energy, like, let me into that energy field. <laughs> I'm seeing like a force field around you from the universe right now. Perhaps so that you could grow and evolve into this butterfly. You're attracting somebody in. Because you're on the top of your piggy bank looking amazing. That'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> anyway, let's get into it. So let's see your current energy. Current energy. Your current energy. We have the page of... Yes! <laughs> we have the page of wands. You're all lit up. Just like this card said, something inside of you has been awakened. And maybe it's just, you know, being in this community. Because I know a lot of you are telling me that you're feeling much better these days. And I love that. That's the power of community. Interesting. I just heard the power of love by Celine Dion. No. No. No, that's not what I'm hearing. I'm hearing the circle of life from the Lion King. Anyway, I'm hearing the circle of life. Anyway. Um, so yeah, you're really, t you're really feeling that something within your soul is lighting up, is accelerating, you know, tapping into your creative potential, tapping into your magic, following your wisps, following your intuitive inspiration. Beautiful. What do I want to ask? Let me just think for a minute. Can I see what change is coming towards you? I don't know what that was. It looked like... Um, I don't know what that was. We have the King of Water wanting to come out, you guys. Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, King of Water. You could be dealing with a water sign who is evolving. We have the High Priestess. 
Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. I cannot make this up. You guys, I cannot make this up. You're all lit up. You're attracting in. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Something's coming into focus regarding you and something, someone else. Attracting through glow. Because your little soul fire is lit up. Now you're giving off this glow, this invisible glow that people like muggles don't understand. It's energetic. And look at just look at what the heck is coming. Okay, just look at what is coming. <laughs> we have the two of fire and that's that cheetah that's been in my readings. And the cheetah represents masculine energy, someone taking action. Okay, two of wands talks about someone who is choosing a direction, they're making their move. It talks about someone who had to release karma or learn a pattern or reflect on something that they were doing wrong um, when it came to this. I cannot, like, I, I kept it open, what is coming towards you. Um, we have the Six of Water, Six of Cups, so someone from your past. And these bunnies are on the Four of Wands card. Um, so we have Six of Cups, someone from your past or a soulmate. Doesn't have to be, if you want, if you're manifesting in new, take this as a new person. If you're manifesting in past person, take that as the past person. I just had to move my tarot cards away from my plant. Um, we have the night on earth, the night of earth, night on earth. What is that about? What is last night on earth? What am I hearing there? I don't know. Last night on earth. I can't, I don't. Now I'm hearing if the world was ending, you'd come over. Anyway, night of earth, someone slowly, slowly, slowly coming in stable. They're coming in stable with an offer of stability, an offer of growth. Maybe they're naked. I hope they put clothes on before they come over. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty, um, someone you intuitively feel is coming. Something is about to be revealed to you regarding the Six of Cups, Two of Wands, the direction, this connection that maybe you're still attached to or still, you know, someone from your past. There's direction coming towards you. The direction of this is being revealed. Night of Earth, stability. That's dedication. This could be you if you're not into love or you're not looking for love, this could be you moving towards and healing slowly your childhood wounding, reflecting on those childhood patterns. What makes you react the way you react? You know, when you react badly to someone, why is it? It's because they're ripping off some kind of band-aid in your soul. And then we automatically blame the person ripping off the band-aid. It is a slow journey. If you're someone who's just starting to, you know, look into healing and things like that, it's, I started my healing journey in 2020, you know, and it's, it's never ending. Um, and it can be slow, but it's all, to me, it's been worth it. And I think that you guys can speak for, like, you're witness to that, that for me, it's been worth it. So we do have earth energy. We have fire energy. So high priestess. Oh my freaking gosh. <laughs> we have the empress. <laughs> so it could be if you're, it could be a divine feminine coming towards you. Or it could be that, you know, you've been in this energy of, First of all, you are in an energy of attraction, the Empress. What's coming in is abundance. Um, beautiful. But you could resonate with Divine Feminine and there's someone coming in. You're attracting them through your glow. <laughs> Queen of Wands, your glow. All right. What do we need to know about this person? The Six of Cups. Temperance. 
Separation happened for a reason. Temperance. This person has been patient about coming in. This is also someone who's been working on balancing their energies. And what did we talk about those energies? About how... Think about that judgment card. How blurry it was. And the two 20s. Symbolic of two people having a spiritual awakening. Not being able to see that clearly when you're in the connection. But hindsight is twenty twenty. So this is someone who you've had to be patient for as well. So even if this is new, you've had to be patient for this person. Um, we do have... Whoever this is wants to come towards you. But Queen of Swords, Eight of Wands shows that they're... They feel like maybe there's a boundary there or maybe, you know, they're not coming towards you because you put a boundary up, you know, for some of you, you may be unapproachable in some sense, like maybe you have them blocked, maybe, you know, maybe your soulmate, if you're resonating with new is trying to find a way through that force field, but there's a barrier here because you're, I hear like un not unapproachable, but unfindable. Like maybe you don't have social media. Maybe you never go out, you know? Um, sometimes like that firefly, we have to light up our own glow to attract in others. Um, so yeah, I just want to mention that, that maybe if you're resonating with that message of wanting to find your community and wanting to make a social media so that you can get to know people and find your people, find your soul tribe, that maybe that's something that you should be doing so that these blessings can come in. Um, I do want to say, if you put up a boundary with this person, we do see them, this is rapid change and growth. So perhaps they went through an awakening here and there's been a change in their energy. <clears throat> Interesting. My heart's pounding. And I told you guys last week I was having that and it stopped. But now when I'm talking about, again, when I'm talking about communication, it starts again. Um, what do I want to ask? What's coming towards you in regards to your soul path? That's what I want to see. Show me soul path. So <laughs> on your soul path, you are attracting in stability, long-term stability. So whether that's for your soul path, King of Pentacles could be you starting your own business and becoming, you know, this, I see long-term stability in whatever this soul path is that you're going down, whatever change you're thinking of making when it comes to your career it brings long-term stability here eight of earth investments so in, it's time to invest in your soul path whatever that means to you because we have two cards talking about abundance here and stability especially when it comes to finances you know um i truly believe people who are on their soul path become successful and become it's because they're living their soul path, they're generating that light, and they're attracting in people. Um, anyway, whatever your soul path is, it's going to bring you long-term success. So it's important, whatever that little fire inside of you is whispering, whatever your wisps are trying to tell you, it's going to lead to long-term abundance. And I can, I can tell you guys from experience, from being where possibly you are a lot of you aren't where I was but way back in the beginning you know I was someone whose soul whispered you could do that you could help people I always wanted to help people like that's all I ever wanted to do in any capacity that I could do it um I always wanted to change the world like and I know that sounds crazy and as a child you're told that's crazy that's silly um if I could tell myself from three years ago, who was, you know, in photography, struggling to like living paycheck to paycheck kind of thing, 
looking back, like I wish I could tell that that version of myself, like it will bring you long term success if you listen listen to that whisper. If you follow those signs. Um, anyway, my kids are very loud today. They're playing some kind of game. Um, so King of Pentacles. Look, it will fulfill you, the world. It will complete you. It will bring you a sense of completion. Your soul path, whatever your soul is telling you, you should be doing. Believe in yourself, my friends. Just want to move these over. Okay, so let's talk about love. What's coming towards you in love? Although I can already see it right there. <laughs> I can already see it. Hello. <laughs> What's coming towards you in love? Hmm. Hmm. What's coming towards you in love? We've got the King of Fire and the Ace of Water. The Ace of Cups. Is that a freaking Junko? <laughs> Where was I talking about a lion? I was hearing the Lion King, remember? The circle of life. Anyway, I was seeing a lion. Um, so we have the King of Wands here. So someone is coming towards you. Remember I said George ba Bailey, King of Wands? Um, coming in, you know, like... Full of passion and that Knight of Wands was being triggered. That I want to do what I want to do. <laughs> And then his passion took over and he like embraced her. Anyway, King of Wands, George Bailey. <laughs> um, King of Wands, someone taking action, someone taking control of their love life, someone taking more, you know, for some of you, this is new love, you know, someone perhaps very creative, someone in the spotlight, King of Fire, King of Wands. I keep hearing Ring of Fire, Walk the Line, Ring of Fire. Anyway. Um, interesting. Th this is a renewal, Ace of Cups. This is new love or renewal. And King of Wands is someone who's coming in with temperance, with their, hopefully their ego balanced, because um, it's not coming out in reverse. There seems to be some type of release here with the waterfall. Spring could be symbolic, you know? It is spring. I saw a Junko twice, remember? That's what a Junko looks like. I don't know if you guys can resonate with my type of crazy. No, nope, not crazy. Stop gaslighting myself. My type of magical. But I had an experience once where we had a flower basket. And there was... A family of Junkos living in it and I got really used because I'm autistic and I have like pattern recognition I got really used to their noises and one day the noises changed and I thought something's wrong like something's wrong the noises are different that sounds like stress like those birds sound stressed and anyway their baby had fallen out of the nest and I'm outside <laughs> trying to help this baby the parents were freaking out um the parents it was almost like they were trying to tell me where their baby was looking back um yeah wally agrees again i also had a squirrel friend and i had chickadees that ate out of my hands like anyway oh are you freaking kidding me <laughs> As I'm talking about a baby bird, that is so strange. Anyway, I felt, I honestly felt, this was before I awakened. Is this still recording? Because this is a crazy story. I honestly felt, I was sitting outside and I felt like these, the sounds had changed in these birds. And I felt, I almost feel like their mother is trying to get my attention. Like that's what it felt like. And so I followed her. And she moved to another tree, calling, calling, calling. And I thought, what is this? So then I went to that tree and she moved again. And she eventually led me to where her baby was. Anyway, 
So we have this baby bird in a nest. That is so strange. And I talked about birds jumping out of a nest, taking a leap of faith at the beginning. Anyway, this is someone communicating with you, ace of air. I'll just... Wally, why do you have to do that? <laughs> hey. Communication. Someone revealing a truth to you. This is a breakthrough moment. Um, like I said, for some of you, this can be new love if that's what you're manifesting. That's what's coming in. It's whatever you're manifesting. You are the master manifester. Remember the card? You are in control of what manifests into your life. There we go. Someone wanting to rekindle things. There's a confirmation for a lot of you. Offer of love coming in. Um, for new love, what do we need to know? That's what I'll do. So this is interesting. We have justice and we have a card that flipped out in the reverse. So I'm really curious to see what it is. The nine of fire. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is amazing for new love. This shows that you have done the work, self-work. You've worked on improving yourself, nine of fire, you know, and if you are someone who's coming from a connection or a past where you were with someone and it was a lot of hard work and a lot of arguments and a lot of, you know, it was hard. It was hard. There were, you know, maybe other people in there, maybe outside influences, struggle. What's coming towards you is balanced. It's balanced. And you're getting your karma because you've been doing the work. You've been healing yourself. You've been working on yourself, working on your boundaries, working on self-improvement, falling in love with yourself. And that's why you're attracting in someone who's right for you. I see good karma, you know, with justice and the nine of fire in reverse. Someone who's very fair and honest and truthful. That's new love. Could be a Libra or a fire sign. Doesn't have to be. We have the emperor on the bottom. So this is someone very stable, new love, someone very stable, mature, has their stuff together, perhaps a business owner, perhaps they have, you know, they already had a family at one point and have children for some of you with the emperor. Beautiful, stable, strong, beautiful, evolved, mature. Now we're going to go returning love, my friends. We have the chariot. Here they come. <laughs> Returning love, the chariot. Someone is, that's what I said. I felt this fast energy, this like, let me in your force field. Let me in your bubble. <laughs> um, the chariot. So this is coming in. Could be a cancer, but this is someone who I feel you both had to align energetically temperance before this could come in. Um, I'm seeing divine feminine, divine masculine energies there. We have the nine of earth. So someone who's evolved, someone who's grown, someone who's coming in more stable, beautiful, divinity, or whatever you call it. <laughs> Shout out to my word fairy. I love you. <laughs> the peacock shows someone coming in, showing you like, look at me, look at how I've healed, look at how I've changed. Look at how I can take action towards this now. This is someone taking, you know, more action towards this. Beautiful. Three of fire. Forward motion. Movement. Yes. I want to get one more. I was, I was being called to get one more for returning love. We have... Oh. This is so, this is so clear. This is someone who there is anxiety about coming towards you. This is someone who thinks about you a lot, who can't stop thinking about you. Um, you know how I told you guys I start my day, whatever. I think this person starts their day thinking of you, ends their day thinking of you, and every time in between, all the time thinking of you. Eight of water. Um... Someone that perhaps you walked away from or perhaps who walked away from you. We see this person coming in. Look, 
Knight of Fire, Knight of Wands, a runner. Black, look at the black horse. Um, very interesting because it shows to me that they're walking away. Like you could have had to walk away because this person was that Knight of Wands, was a runner, inconsistent, hot and cold. And you stabilized yourself. Look, Queen of Earth. So this person may have anxiety or maybe in the past felt like they couldn't offer you what you deserved here. Interesting. Let's see how this returning person is feeling about you right now. Right now, right this second. Please, not the Ace of Wands. <laughs> I do not want to interrupt that thought. <laughs> Oh, look, you could be older than this person. Look, the queen of water that walked away from them. Look, baby beluga in the deep blue sea. Um, How they're currently feeling about you right now. Thinking about reaching out to you. Thinking about rekindling this. Thinking about this offer. Seven of fire. Thinking about... There's a fear of you being defensive, but the Seven of Wands is also like someone who's ready to fight. They're thinking about how to communicate with you. How do we have this breakthrough moment? How do I get through those boundaries that this person has put up? Seriously, if the, <laughs> if the Ace of Wands had come out, that would have been too much. <laughs> Four of Air, someone who's crying. There's tears. Um, right now they could be, you know, not feeling well. They could be going through a spiritual ascension and not feeling well. They may think they have food poisoning or they have a cold or something. They could have a migraine. Um, this person thinking about you right now, this is someone typically laying in bed. And I'm not meaning in the Ace of Wands way. <laughs> There's tears here, you know. What action will this person take towards you? Communication, page of air. Communication, reaching out. Queen of water, offer of love. This is someone who wants to show you love with the queen of water. That's a beautiful... This is someone who wants to communicate specifically how you deserve more. With that chariot energy, this is someone who feels like you deserve more than you got, is what I'm hearing. Okay, let's see what's coming next in this connection. We have the world completion. <gasps> what? <laughs> That's beautiful. I played, you guys, I played um, Pictionary with my daughter two days ago. Or was it yesterday? I can't remember. It was yesterday. Oh my gosh. And I drew a flamingo. That's magic. The lovers and the world. Completion. Reconnection. A new beginning. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That's beautiful. Ace of Earth. Ace of Pentacles. A fresh start. Rebirth. Oh, are you kidding me? Was I not explaining how they hang on the outside of the, was I not explaining that <laughs> that's magic rebirth beautiful nah I love it love. <laughs> all right then let's get you what do I want to get you what do we want to get I'm just looking I want to get you one of these ocean cards <laughs> I'm just gonna cut it Change direction with ease. It's time for a change, shape-shifting your, or your soul's evolution. It is time to reconsider what you were wanting. You may be in for a surprise. Interesting. New love, maybe, for some of you? There was an energy in here about looking at, reflecting on, reflecting on what belongs in your life, what you want in your life. Five, Hierophant energy. Spiritual lessons, change, commitment. What do you need to know, my friend? 
Wally is back. We have 20, shared inspiration. Throw yourself into a new project. Be willing to let go of time constraints and rules and really be aware of what fulfills your heart. Remember, we saw that hindsight is 2020. Judgment, judgment. I'm also seeing this throw yourself into a new project. If you're someone who, when I was talking about putting yourself out there to find your people, confirmation. We have the Orca. Disengage from outcomes. Let go so you can open yourself to the highest love that you deserve. Find ways to release worry and any unresolved lack of forgiveness you might be holding on to. Orca! And we have gliding through currents. With a different approach, you will glide through a situation with guide and, got grace and ease. And what came out in your person's energy or you or no? What's coming towards you? Two of Wands, changing your approach. Going inward and bringing your understanding, perspective, or behavior into flow will help your dreams take flight. Beautiful. Are those stingrays? I almost called them praying mantises. <laughs> I don't think they're praying mantises. I feel like a card went flying onto the floor. It did. It's trying to run away. Surrounded by prosperity, the turtle. Your attention is being drawn to the infinite nature of reality. That which exists outside the known is beyond measure. The wisps. Follow your wisps. The, the, we'll, we'll just call these wisps. Come out of your hermit hole. Come out of your, you know, shell. Stick your head out and notice your wisps. They're trying to guide you. Anyway. I'm going to leave it there, my friends. I'm going to go do a pick a card. I love you so much. Thank you for being here with me again. I keep telling you guys, I love you, I love you, I love you. And I think about you during my day. And again, I just love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Have a beautiful day. Maybe enjoy some sunshine if you can. I love you and I will talk to you soon.